Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this YouTube channel, Mathematics and Me. For this video, you will learn to divide polynomial expression using long division. But before of that, let's define first what is a polynomial expression. A polynomial expression, or P of X, is an expression of the form a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus ellipsis a sub 1 plus a sub 0, wherein n is a non-negative integer or n is a positive integer. And the coefficient a sub 0, a sub 1 until a sub n are real numbers. So this polynomial expression can be written in standard form. And to write a polynomial expression in standard form, you need to write the terms in decreasing order, such that the order of the power of x is decreasing. For example, 5x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x plus 10. As you can see, the power of x or the exponent are decreasing. From 3 to it becomes 1 and zero so three two one zero is in decreasing order or in decreasing power of x therefore this given polynomial expression is in standard form the same with the second example though it lacks a power of two because it is three one and zero still it is in decreasing order of power of x so it is still in standard form and so with the third example so three two and zero so it lacks a power of one but still it is in standard form because the power of x is in decreasing order now let's have the steps for long division of polynomials or steps to divide polynomials using long division Step 1, you need to arrange the terms in decreasing order of their indices. Or let's say, you need to rewrite the polynomial expression in standard form. And then write the missing terms with 0 as their coefficient. Step 2, for the first term of the quotient, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Later on, I will show to you what is the dividend, what is the divisor, what is the quotient, and what is the remainder. And step 3, multiply this term of the quotient by the divisor to get the product. Step 4, subtract this product from the dividend and bring down the next term if there is any. And the difference and the brought down term will form the new dividend and for the last step follow this process until you get a remainder take note that a remainder can be zero and a remainder should be lower index than the divisor for you to understand more how to divide polynomial expression using long division let's divide 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 by x plus 5 so going back to the steps, the first step is you need to arrange the terms in decreasing order of their indices. Or let's say you need to rewrite the given polynomial expression in standard form. So here the given dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23. This is already in standard form, and so the divisor is also in standard form, which is x plus 5. So we can go now to the second step, which is divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So the first term of the dividend here is 2x squared because the dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23. And the first term of the divisor is x. So now let's put 2x squared 
plus 5x minus 23 inside of the division symbol. So this 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 again is the dividend. And let's put the divisor outside of it. x plus 5. Okay, so again, the second step is you divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So you're going to divide 2x squared by x. So this is just a division of monomial. You divide x squared and x, so you cancel out this x, also this x, so what remains is the 2 and the x. So you multiply 2 and x, it is 2x. Therefore, 2x squared divided by x is 2x. And we write 2x at the upper part, wherein above 5x. Next, third step is you multiply this term of the quotient by the divisor to get the product. So you will need to multiply next 2x to the divisor. So to do that, you just simply apply distributive property. 2x times x plus 5. So, 2 times x, you have 2x squared, and 2x times 5, you have positive 10x. Again, 2x times x is 2x squared, and 2x times 5, you have positive 10x. Next, let's subtract. This is the... fourth step. Subtract this product from the dividend and bring down the next term. So, in subtracting, we just distribute the minus sign to 2x squared plus 10x. So, let's put it or put 2x squared plus 10x inside of the parentheses. So, positive 2x squared will become negative 2x squared and positive 10x will become negative 10x. Now, let's subtract this part. 2x squared minus 10x is 0. Okay, so this is 0. And then 5x minus 10x, this part, 5x minus 10x, it is negative 5x. Okay, and then bring down the negative 23. So we bring down the negative 23. And since 0 is not significant, we simply remove the 0 here. So this is now, this is now the new dividend. So after getting the new dividend, you repeat the process, okay? So, to repeat the process, you again divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, the first term of the dividend is negative 5x. So, we have here negative 5x divided by the first term of the divisor is x. So, cancel out the x. So, what remains is negative 5. Therefore, negative 5x divided by x is negative 5. So, let us now continue. Okay, next step is after you divide the first term of the dividend and the divisor, you multiply again the quotient to the divisor. So let's multiply negative 5 
this is the quotient and the divisor is x plus 5. So you simply perform distributive property. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x and negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. So we will put negative 5x and negative 25 here below the negative 5x minus 23. Okay, so now let's subtract. So let's put the negative 5x minus 25 inside of the parentheses. And we change the sign of this. Negative 5x will now become positive and negative 25 will now become positive 25 because of this minus sign. Because of the minus sign, they change their signs. So 5x plus 5x, it will become 0. Negative 23 plus 25, it will become positive 2. So since 0 again is not significant, so we remove 0 and the positive. So what we get in the quotient is... 2x minus 5. So we get here 2x minus 5. Therefore, therefore, the quotient is 2x minus 5 plus 2 over x plus 5. Why? Because the quotient should be in the form quotient plus or minus remainder over divisor. So as you can see, the quotient is 2x minus 5. This is the quotient. And the remainder is 2. And we put over the divisor, which is x plus 5. So when you divide 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 by x plus 5, the answer is 2x minus 5 plus 2 over x plus 5. So in this case, we have a remainder of 2. How about if there is no remainder? So, let's try dividing 6x squared minus 28 minus 2x by 2x plus 4. So, again, make sure that it is arranged or the dividend and the divisor are arranged in standard form. Is 6x squared minus 28 minus 2x in standard form? No. Therefore... We need to rewrite 6x squared minus 28 minus 2x in standard form in such a way that the order of the x is in decreasing order. So we write 6x squared followed by negative 2x minus 28. So this is now the standard form. So after getting the standard form, we will now divide this dividend, 6x squared minus 2x minus 28 by the divisor 2x plus 4. Okay? So, in the second step, you divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, let's divide 6x squared by 2x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And x squared divided by x is x. So your answer here is 3x. And we put 3x above negative 2x. Next step or third step, you multiply this 3x to the divisor. So 3x times 2x plus 4 is, you apply distributive property, so 3x times 2x is 6x squared. And 3x times 4 is positive 
x. So we write here 6x squared plus 12x. And for the fourth step, we subtract. And once we subtract, we will change the sign of 6x squared plus 12x. So positive 6x squared will become negative 6x squared and positive 12x will become negative 12x. Now, subtract 6x squared by negative 6x squared. So the answer is 0. And subtract or add because they are both negative. Negative 2x minus 12x. You simply add the two negatives. So you have negative 14x. So since 0 is not significant, just remove the 0. And then bring down the negative 28. So you, you put here negative 28. So this is now the new dividend. Okay? So we will repeat the process using this new dividend. Okay, next, this is now the first term of the new dividend. And again, the first term of the divisor is still 2x. So the next thing that you're going to do is, again, divide the first term of the new dividend by the first term of the divisor. So we divide negative 14x by 2x. Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. And x divided by x is... Okay, cancel it out. So the answer is negative 7. So you put here negative 7. So for the next step, you multiply the negative 7. You multiply this one to the divisor. So, negative 7 times 2x plus 4. So, again, apply distributive property. So, negative 7 times 2x, you have negative 14x. And negative 7 times positive 4 is negative 28. So, you write this negative 14x minus 28 below of this new dividend so this is the product let's enclose it by the parentheses and let's subtract so since we are subtracting negative negative it will become positive negative negative again it will become positive or you simply change the sign of what is in the product of the quotient and divisor so negative 14x plus positive 14x is 0 and negative 28 plus positive 28 is still 0. So in this case, the remainder is 0. Therefore, the quotient is the quotient is this one. 3x minus 7. So this is now the quotient. Again, this is the quotient above the dividend. So there's no remainder. So we, ha we have no Rx over D of X. We don't have this. Okay? So if you understand this video lesson, kindly like this video. Share it with your classmates or with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so thank you for watching.